<sighs> what is up, people? ADS Play 101 here, discussion 101, a walking vlog. You know, these vlogs serve. These almost messed that word up. I can't believe it. These vlogs serve multiple purposes. First, the said purpose is that it gets, you know what I'm saying, my blood going. You know, it forces me to exercise in a way that, you know, that's kind of involuntary in a sense because I don't, you know, I ain't got to call no Uber or nothing like that. You don't have a car? No, not yet. Working on that problem, no, working on that problem ASAP. But, uh, no, it forces me to exercise and it also puts me in a position where I can actually have a conversation, uh, you know, with you guys as I'm walking. Gives me a time to record these vlogs. And, um, you know what I'm saying? Just get my thoughts together before I go into this job I don't really like. As most of us have work jobs we don't really like because of the time we're in. But, um, you know, it's really one of those moments where, one of those rare moments where I can just, you know what I'm saying, gather my thoughts together as I'm headed to work. And it helps pass the time on the walk as well. Um, I, guess, I, I guess that's like three things, but nevertheless, man, it's uh, it's good to be able to do these vlogs every once in a while, and uh, or on the daily whenever I do have to work. And that way, at least I'm still giving you guys some content to some degree, as well as updates or anything that has that's going on or anything that's going on in the the world and what you can expect so we're going to talk about a couple things first thing being my reactions now some of you guys know my reactions series the feels that's my shit i started that you know what i mean not reactions but the phrase the feels that series for the reactions i that's my thing you know what i mean and i started uh doing reactions underneath that title for quite some time now recently i would say for like the past week or so i started doing reactions again because there were things i was seeing that pretty much needed to be reacted to um and i just never got around to doing it for whatever the reasons was at the time but i did get the reactions uh videos done and i uploaded them now for those of you who know I have tried my damnest to upload reaction. I did two reaction videos, what, last year? I think it was like November or December of last year. And it was the openings to, I think, Naruto Shippuden and all the openings to Bleach. Right? And no, it was, it was openings to the original Naruto. And and Bleach and Naruto Shippuden, like I did all three of them, but unfortunately, Crunchyroll blocked all my videos and basically <sighs> stopped them from being seen. So I tried to upload it to a different website, and I don't even think that website is up anymore. I think it was Stream.me. I uploaded it to. And the stream dot me isn't even around no more. Last time I tried to get on the website, it was like it was gone. The website was gone. So I don't know what the hell happened with that. But you know, when I did try to upload those videos to YouTube, you know what I mean? It was uh it was back in no November 2020. And uh, probably before then. But I know it was a long while well, before it happened. Um, but at the time when I did try to upload a crunchy roll, took all that, they copyrighted my videos and they took them down. Now, shout out to my boy Mugetsu Gaming. I keep forgetting if, if you are still calling it Mugetsu Gaming or if you change it to Mugetsu TV. But regardless, man, y'all go subscribe to my brother right there. That's, you know what I'm saying? Like, I call him brother, but you know what I mean? He not blood, but he cool people, man. Real cool. I, I like his channel. I like what he's doing. Always shout him out every chance I get. You know what I'm saying? 
him and him and uh and Mugen Lord, them the two right there. Cause I was there during his earlier days. Probably wasn't there from the very beginning when we get to, but damn sure there with the early days when we were struggling to get the platinum. You know, I'm super plat now. I don't really give a fuck about Street Fighter Five like that, like I used to. But my boy, he and Diamond, he fighting like I think he just uploaded a video where he was fighting uh, Punk. So uh, y'all go check that out. I think he just uploaded that video. Now, the reason why I bring him up is because. He also does uh, reactions to, you know, anime and things like that. I think he's currently doing reactions to, like, the Slam Dunk episodes. I think he does them in, like, batches. Like, episodes, like, 60 through, like, 64. Or, like, you know, something like that. Like, he, he uploads them in batches. And he does openings for, you know, re reactions to anime openings as well. Um, you know, real good stuff, man. So, y'all go, y'all go support him. All 2,430 of y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all go uh, check his channel out, as well as Mugen Lord. But, uh, but he found a way to upload the videos without getting them take down. I don't, taken down. Now, I don't know if he did something where he makes them more opaque or where he makes them more transparent. But for whatever reason, he found a way to like, make it work to wait they don't take the videos down i think he tried to upload a couple videos before and then he had to re-upload them because of that so if that's the case i might have to try to do something like that to get my videos up because i really do enjoy you know what i'm saying those reactions to those anime openings so i think those are very i know the traffic is thick right now but uh i really did enjoy the reactions that i did to those anime openings and it kind of sucks that you guys weren't able to see those videos. I have them somewhere on my laptop still. I never, I don't think I deleted them. But uh, I kept them in some file on my laptop. I'm gonna find them. But I'm gonna try to upload them again. I don't know if it's gonna work for me, but I'm trying to get them up. So that's the first thing, you know, Crunchyroll is on my ass. So, I mean, they're not threatening, like they didn't, they didn't give me like a copyright strike, but they just, it was a content ID match and they ended up, you know, getting my videos blocked. So it wasn't no sense of me having them up. So I deleted them off the channel and I, you know what I'm saying? Tried to do what I could and upload them somewhere else, but I'm gonna try to get them back on this channel. I'm gonna try to, you know, like, hey, if my boy Mugetsu can do it, I should be able to find a way to do it too, man. That's what he taught me. Yeah, so, shout out to the Getsu game. The prairie dogs all over the place right now. But, uh, that was the first thing. Second thing, I know some of you people were wondering what, what, what happened to the World Warriors Collective uh, YouTube channel. Well, here's the thing. The channel is still up and active. And the subscribers are still, I don't know what it is about me not being active on my YouTube channels and people still subscribing to it, but <laughs> apparently people are still going over there. But here's the thing though. Recently, uh, I have an ADS Play 101 Instagram page and I got a World Warriors Collective Instagram page. Now the, the World Warriors Collective one was supposed to be only for merchandise and music that was that was that was the only thing that those, uh, those two were supposed to be used for one was my personal ig and the other one was literally just for merchandise and music it was for the brand um so that's what i'm gonna continue to do now this past like a couple days ago i completely deleted the majority of anything that didn't have anything to do with merchandise or music on the world warriors collective one and I, you know, forwarded people over to the, I linked my other IG to people for anything else that has to do with gaming live, excuse me, gaming live streams or whatever. But I do want that particular IG as well as the corresponding YouTube channel to be only for merchandise and, you know, merchandise promotions. Because I do have some new clothing coming up, some new varsity jackets with the hood on them. I'm just not happy with the, with the back, with the, uh, with the patch that I put on the back. 
but for what it's worth it's good now if you go to my world warriors collective ig you can actually see what that design looks like right now um, so yeah you can actually see what the design looks like uh So that's that. Um, so yeah, the World Warriors Collective YouTube channel is gonna be for merchandise and music only. Now I need to get back on my bully with the music cause I was on a hot little streak and then of course I let fucking circumstance get the better of me. And um, I started slacking off. They, they putting a seafood shack right there? Oh, cool. Uh, hopefully we get some fresh seafood now. But, you know, most definitely I wanna Get that ball rolling again. Um, but with that said, uh, damn, what else I wanted to talk about? I wanted to talk about one more thing. Let's see, I got the crunchy roll out the way. I shouted out the homies, Magetsu and Yugen Lord. Um, talked about the World Warriors Collective merch and the IG and why certain posts are taken down. Um, I guess I can end it by saying thank you to everybody um, that stuck around even during the rough times, man. Because regardless of what the case may be, y'all shared the, the YouTube channel, even though the views don't reflect that. <laughs> and I, that's something else I got to work on because I decided that I'm going to make shorter YouTube videos just to try to get like those quick views. Um, so I know people don't have a lot of time for whatever reason to be sitting around watching like an hour long video on a topic or whatever or on any subject or even sit down for an hour to watch a video game session for like an hour unless they were participating in it but I really want to work it to where I can get like a 15 uh, uh, either 15 minutes or less every video and just get people to watch it again so a part of our plan of doing that is I'm going to start, I'm going to relaunch the, the fan days under a different moniker, under a different title. I'm going to relaunch the fan day events. For those of you who remember those, and I think I still have the playlist on YouTube if you look them up, during my days on YouTube when I was doing the Yu-Gi-Oh! content, Every Friday and Saturday, I had something called Yu-Gi-Oh! 101 Fan Day. And that's because I enjoyed playing the game. It was other people that enjoyed playing the game. I was helping people through YouTube. And, um, you know, I was uh, enjoying just having fun with the viewers. You know, I want to say uh, to the people that remember... You know, it was uh, the main two that was always reoccurring was Sue Jack and this other dude named Xander. And, um, you know, we used, to, we used to play through Skype and have fun. Now, of course, I'm not playing Yu-Gi-Oh! like I once did. I think the game is going completely left, and I'm just, I don't know. I got so much other stuff going on, bro. Yu-Gi-Oh! I just can't make time for it. Yu-Gi-Oh! is very, um, compared to how I used to be, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! just not my cup of tea anymore and I'm fine with that I had my fun with the game and I set it to the side like the cheap whore that it is <laughs> so you know tooted and booted if you will with a card game but nah I did enjoy myself playing Yu-Gi-Oh with the you know what I'm saying with the guys for the time that I did and I do want to say rest in peace Xander because when I stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh, I think a year after that, no, this was a year after Dueling Network shut down and I couldn't do the fan duels anymore or the Yu-Gi-Oh one-on-one fan days. I couldn't do that in the, in the Yu-Gi-Oh Pro uh, app. That ended up, that was looked like it was getting ready to shut down because nobody was on that anymore either for a time. So... I ended up stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh! all together and the fan days stopped because of that. But during that year when all that nonsense was going on, Xander ended up passing away from leukemia, if I'm not mistaken. So, 
I do want to say rest in peace, Xander. Of course, this was this was back in like 2000, what 2017? No, this is like before then. This is like 2015 or 16 when all this nonsense was going on. So he must have died around 2016, 2017. And Sujak was the one that told me. And I didn't even know. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't even heard from Sujak in a while. So I hope everything going for, going good for him. Because even though I'm not playing Yu-Gi-Oh! while, you know, people that have those connections with you, you still want to wish them well. You know what I'm saying? Because we never had no problems. Never had no beef. The, the, the times we shared on Yu-Gi-Oh! was real fun. I kind of miss it. You know what I mean? And I just want to recapture that that essence of uh, friendly competition with, with something else that I'm currently doing. So you guys can expect to see uh, Fan Day returning in some form or another on uh, on this channel. On this channel. So, um, so yeah, that's something I wanted to touch on. Uh, that was actually it. So I'm going to upload this video ASAP. You guys take a look, uh, keep a lookout for the uh, Demon Slayer video game reactions that I uh, did. I did three of them. Well, one was Jump Force. The other two was related to Demon Slayer. I did one character trailer, and then I did another one, which it was, um, I think, all the rest of the uh, trailers that was put out. Because I didn't know they did more than one. So that's, that's something. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, man. And y'all remember, be humble in victory, be gracious in defeat, but show no mercy in battle. World Warriors Collective. Peace.